let's look at how to configure Cisco routers using PPP and CHAP. So I have my Cisco device right here, a couple of devices, and these ones are, they don't have their, their cards in yet, so I go ahead and turn them off, and I drag over this nice little card here, and you can see there are the serial ports right here, and then I power it back up, and I go to the next one, power it down, put in my serial cards, and power back up again. At this point, I am ready to connect the wires. So I go to my connections, I get my serial connection, run it from R1, and I'm going to do serial 010 over to my other router and serial 010. Now I go to the first router and I'm going to configure it for PPP and CHAP. So I do no, and I want to enable, go into my global configuration. Now it's important to make sure you have your host name figured out. Since I have the same host name as router, I need to set it. And so this one's R1. I'm going to set it to R1. Next, I want to make sure that I'm using my PPP encapsulation. Um, and I want to make sure that I have a username that I can use to authenticate across. So I'll do the username first since that's a global configuration thing. So username, and I want the name of the other router. So the other router is gonna be R2. So do R2, password, and I'll pick up password. So Aloha123, and that'll be the password that I'll use to authenticate my CHAP session. And both routers are gonna have the same password here. Then I go into my interface connection my interface configuration, so int s0 slash 1 slash 0, and I will turn on encapsulation PPP. After encapsulation PPP is on, I want to tell it that I want to authenticate using CHAP. So I do PPP authentication CHAP. And normally uh, at this point, you are basically done. It's pretty quick. Um, so I just need to assign IP addresses. So IP address 192.168.0.1. Oops. I need a mask. And then I do a no shut to activate the interface. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Nope. Go into my global configuration mode host name this one is r2 and i create my user as well user name r1 so it's the username of the other router password same password aloha 123 then i go to the interface int s0 slash 1 slash 0 and i need to turn on my pv encapsulation so encapsulation ppp and then I do a BPP authentication chap. All right. At this point, I can assign my IP address as well. The address 192.168.0.255.255.255.0. And no shut. The interfaces should become active and I should be able to test them. So I do a ping 192.168.0.1. And I can see I can ping all the way across and it is working. I can do a show int s0 slash 1 slash 0. And I can see that it is encapsulated using PPP and it's live. And that is how you configure CHAP.